Gemini Rising, welcome here to Soul Passages Astrology. I'm so glad you stopped by for your March 23rd Eclipse Report. My name is Georgia Dempsey and I am your astrologer and I know lots of big things are shaking out right now. Hopefully you've had a chance to listen to your March 9th Eclipse Report. If so, this is the follow-up to that because we have another one happening, a lunar eclipse on the 23rd of March. And for you, Gemini Rising, it's all about matters of the heart that are going to be revealed to you towards the end of this month. The full Libra moon is going to be lighting up your fifth house. And this not only rules romance, but children, creative self-expression, and the things that you do for fun and passion. So if you've been waiting for a sign regarding a romance, the period of quiet and darkness is about to be dispelled. The Sapien symbol message for this moon, which is residing at three degrees of Libra, is the dawn of a new day reveals everything changed. Periods of silence and darkness can be very transforming, leading to stirring revelations. Relationships have been your testing ground lately due to Saturn, and you've been discovering the truth of what it means to be in partnership with another person. And this could be a lover, a spouse, or business associate. Since this taskmaster planet is a fulcrum point right now, all of your close partnerships are being put to the metal. If you've been feeling stuck when it comes to significant others in your life, things are about to change, whether from your own actions or via information delivered by this emotional moon. And I say that because the Sabian symbol message for Saturn is the moment of pause which sustains and presages change. Alert, readiness to act, or distress at not knowing what lies ahead. So change is coming. You and a partner could be grappling right now regarding friendships, dreams, or long-range plans. And I say this because the sun and mercury are currently lighting up your 11th house in the rocket-fueled sign of Aries. So there are opposing forces afoot. What you want with a vengeance versus what your intimate partner or business associates desire for you in the long haul. A balancing act is required if you wish to keep the peace. With Jupiter in the north node of the moon kind of sashaying through your fourth house, uh, you may feel compelled to work things out on the home front and with family, and that would be a good thing. Saturn, the taskmaster planet, is, however, squaring Jupiter right now, so you could feel friction from your relationship sector because that's where Saturn is housed in the seventh house. Saturn is, in fact, a very pivotal point upon which you've been trying to keep balance between your career and family life. Right now, he's forming close to a near T-square between your fourth house and career sector. So, you can either spend more time at work, where frankly, I think you haven't been feeling very appreciated lately, um, or you can devote more time to family. Though your long-range plans are uppermost in your mind right now, don't forget to take into consideration your partner's feelings. And to further kind of exacerbate this whole issue, we've got Pluto sitting like the Hulk in your eighth house of intimacy and other people's money. So you could be going through kind of a tug of war over resources or joint financing right now. 
You can find yourself compulsively trying to lock down more money into your 401k, whether it's good for you or not. The eighth house rules over big things like sex, taboos, uh, death, inheritances, other people's money. So big life matters are on the plate for you and they are causing transformation to occur in your life. This hulky Pluto is also pouring energy into your 10th house and that impacts your career as well as your worldly standing. So it's not only just your job, but it can be, you know, a marriage, a divorce, uh, a big life change or a change in how you are presented to the world. So, and he's creating a little bit of a tantrum and feeling of woundedness up there right now. Um, I can see that. So tread gently. You don't want to be overbearing with people at work or those who are really close to you, nor do you really want to get into serious tugs of war over money. So if you find yourself only thinking about the money, and that's the only thing you are really concerned with on the job, you might start to ask yourself the question, if you're really fulfilling your true purpose and your true calling. I really sense that coming out of your 10th house right now, an uncertainty of what you're doing for your work in the world. And all I can say, there is more to life than money. And certainly the message with Chiron and Neptune zooming up there is that um, it's good for you to find work that makes you feel fulfilled, makes you feel like that you are uh, doing your true mission in the world and that you're being appreciated for that mission. Right now I get a sense of kind of woundedness and maybe even disillusionment when it comes to work. So having a better work-life balance is a good thing. Not only could that help to even things out a bit on that pivotal point of Saturn, but it could also help to ease the tensions that you're currently feeling when it comes to the significant others in your life. And it is all about matters of the heart right now, Gemini Rising, so keep that in mind. All right, if you are facing some sort of big ordeal in your life right now and you need a hand, feel free to give me a call. I am running my one-hour special for $50 till March 1. Contact information is at the front of the video. Also, I would absolutely love to hear how this forecast is helping you. Um, is it making a difference in your life? What is shaking up your world right now? These eclipses are big deals. And when we have them back to back like this, um, they tend to be real change agents in our life. They shake us up and affect us for six months to a year. So let me know what's going down. Love to hear from you. Hope all is going well and that whatever matters of the heart have got you uh, concerned this month that they all work out well. All right, peace, blessings, and namaste.